Welcome back, everyone. We are joined with some lovely ladies from New Iberia and the Spanish Festival to talk about what is happening this weekend coming back to downtown New Iberia. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Thank you, you for welcome. having Thank us. You for having us. Yes. So, we have Brinkley, who is our director and our beautiful queen for this year. So, tell me a little bit about the festivities that are happening downtown New Iberia. Yes, yeah, so we are excited for the festival this year. We haven't had it in two years. So, we're looking forward to this year. We did say we would go bigger and better, <laughs> uh -huh. which I'm Pretty sure we felt follow up with those yes. expectations. So it's going to be happening this weekend. Uh, we have a three day festival. We used to have just a one day festival. So now it's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday downtown New Iberia. How cool. And downtown, oh, so that is the flyer for this year's festival with everything you need to know. You can find that on their website. And they also did something really cool in New Iberia this year. If we could queue up those pictures. Tell me about this art display that you guys put up in downtown New Iberia. Yeah, so this is our crocheted ceiling down church alley. The idea was actually given to uh, us last year via Facebook. Our sister city, Alarín de la Torres in Spain, actually had tagged us in the post. This is what they do um, in Spain during their hot summer months. They hang in this crocheted ceiling um, downtown. And so the idea was brought to us from them. And so I was like, well, hopefully we can make this happen in New Iberia one day. It is so, beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we started in January. Uh, we have over like 40 uh, people that have participated. Uh, and we actually hung it up this past Friday. And now it's available for viewing for the public. It and looks awesome. Yeah. And, and just another cool added element that they will have in downtown New Iberia for the festival. So uh, tell me a little bit, Natalie. Yes, ma'am. Now, with all the yes. queens and, and the years, mm -hmm. this is, did you just get crowned? Tell me about your reign. Yes. <laughs> My name is uh, Natalie Mendoza, but in Spanish it's Natalie Mendoza, and I am Miss Spanish Festival Queen Six, and this is my first title ever. And I competed in October, and I reigned for a whole year until October of 2022. Okay, yes. well, but it has been a fun experience. Definitely, yes. and for those who yes. haven't gone to the festival, we know the job of the queen is to promote it. What's your favorite yes. part that people need to know about? Uh, I think my favorite part would be, you know, er I love everything about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's hard it's like, to pick a yes. favorite, right? Yes. When it's so your favorite it weekend of the whole yes. year. Yes. And yes. I feel like it's like uh, my festival, like my festival is like something like I'm really passionate about because I get to promote it to other people and like my, it's close to my heritage and my culture. So that's what I love about it. Awesome. Well, yes. I hope you have an amazing year spreading the word about your festival. And guys, I hope you have a, an amazing weekend for people to find the lineup and when everything happens. Where should they go? Yes. So uh, definitely our Facebook page. They updated Instagram and also our website. Awesome. Well, thank mm -hmm. you ladies yes. so much for thank being so with us. Thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. Guys, thank you, you. want to be in New Iberia this weekend. For more information on the Spanish Festival, head to their website mm -hmm. that you see on your screen. Stay with us, everyone.